Thank you so much for going down memory lane with me. Let me take you back and tell you of a situation. Something that I always love to hear uh, about uh, uh, in some aspects. My Aunt Sandy, Heggy, uh, my dad's only sister, uh, and my Uncle Dennis, uh, my Uncle Denny Cornell, if you will. Of course, my Uncle Denny was my dad's twin brother. Um, I've said it, uh, things about that and situations about that many times down memory lane. Let me take you back and tell you about deer hunting. Uh, my Aunt Sandy and uh, my Uncle Denny used to interact with one another, uh, you know, in more ways than one, but uh, there was just a time where they would go out together and they'd go deer hunting. Uh, they'd just get, hop in the car or truck or Uncle Denny's truck or a car or whatever, and they'd go out and just, you know, comb uh, uh, some of the back roads uh, uh, there uh, during the uh, evening hours, and they'd, you know, they'd comb the back roads and uh, just areas in general, and you know they they would go look for deer. Aunt Sandy loved deer. Uh, they make different just find them. If she seen them on television, or if she had them in uh, pictures and whatnot, she always marked out loved deer. I believe she still does to this day. I can almost imagine that she still does. But anyway, nonetheless, it was always you know they always go out. You know, it, it wasn't often, but it was just you know on occasion or you know or. Maybe it was often, I don't remember, but I know they went out deer hunting, they went out looking for deer. And, uh, you know, us kids would always be playing or whatever, you know, if we happy there, you'd come down and Sandy wouldn't be there, she wouldn't be in the TV room, she wouldn't be in the kitchen or anything, oh, she went anywhere and Sandy was, I always did, you know, and uh, Uncle Rabbit like, oh, she went, you know, went, she said, he said, he went with Uncle Denny deer hunting, or she went with Uncle Denny, deer, she went with Uncle Denny deer hunting. Anyway, nonetheless, and when they'd come back, he'd say he'd be all happy, especially if she saw a deer. She'd be excited, you know. She'd mark out about it, you know, saying how much she, you know, what she saw and what they were doing and blah, 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 that, the other. And I always liked that. I always liked to see Aunt Sandy, you know, with a smile on her face, you know, be happy in a situation like that. Because Aunt Sandy made me smile in many, way, many ways uh, or, uh, during my childhood. And it was always good to see Aunt Sandy throw out a smile for something that she loved, you know. And, uh, uh, one of the things she loved, you know, like I said, was deer hunting, and, and the time she spent with Uncle Denny and deer hunting. And uh, I'm sure we, you know, I can uh, say for everybody who, uh, in family or anybody in general who's, uh, you know, lost a loved one or whatever, you know, we definitely missed Uncle Denny, and uh, that was a situation that uh, uh, him and uh, Aunt Sandy, uh, you know, got together and done, and uh, was something, you know, just, you know, a situation that uh, they were able to do together and have fun. And uh, like I said, uh, I definitely miss Uncle Denny so much, and I love my Aunt Sandy. And uh, I love him too. All my family members, I love them in more ways than one. Regardless of uh, you know they don't know it, I I love them. And uh, I just like I said, love love the whole thing when they go out deer hunting and everything like that. And Sandy come home and mark out about it. I'd be the one to sit there and listen to her talk about it. As the other you know, as everybody else would just kind of you know maybe listen or walk away or whatever. You know, just you know, or not get the gist of what was going on. I did. And Sandy had a good time, good smile on her face, loved it, and I loved listening to it. Thank you so much for going down memory lane with me. I'll catch you next time.